Hey, what's going on guys? Double One Eight Set Shadow here. So today Bushiroad announced new support for Wellstra. And I know we were covering a little bit of Wellstra support back on the last market watch for Monday. And today we're gonna go over a few more cards in addition to a number of others that I've been noticing some interesting trends on, such as the one you see in front of you right now. Well, remember how I talked about Signe last time as our funny card for the SP being, what, $2,000 for some reason? Well, why don't we talk about the BCS 2022 Over Trigger, which was given out as a participation item to anybody who attended the World Championship in 2022. And now the cost of this card went from $26 to 696969. Nice. I'm sure a lot of you were hoping for that. I think. In any case, point being is that that's just a funny price. That's all I'm going to say about it. Ala Dargente is going to be our first real item to talk about today. Where this card is still down on listings. It's got 8 overall and a base price of $15 right now. You can see the price trend of this has gone up with the market price being a pretty solid $10 at this point. But in terms of listings that have actually sold, it hasn't sold about just a, it's only sold a little bit above $12 from the last few listings. Currently, for available ones, we've got two listings for about $15 each. And then it just goes right up to $20, $21 a piece for more copies after that. And there is a copy for over $25. We'll have to see if it even gets to that point, as this card has been getting bought out to the point of 20, only to see a few more cheap listings come on the market. Invigorate Sage is still moving its way upward and has low listings overall. The double rare is now down to three listings with a base of 750, and there are five listings on the SP right now, where this one has not been moving too much. It's still $44, which is above the $40 market price it's got right now. But the fact that the Double Rare continues to just creep its way upward and always maintain low listings, well, it's kind of amazing to me how the SP has not managed to make its way much farther up. I'm curious how it's been moving. Let's see. 43... yeah, 44 basically, and then 40... And all listings available right now are $50 or under, but they're all in the $40 range. Any... The only thing is that it just doesn't get bought that many times. So even with the double rare being short on quantities, people don't really buy into the SP even at this price, which is interesting to see. Performing Petal Diantha has been going down in price. The triple rare is now a base of $14 with a market price of $19.62 right now. And I remember being able to sell these at $30 if out a few months back so to see them finally drop down from 20 and the market prices under there is good to see too and then the ffr is also pretty far down in value market price on that is 60 dollars there are listings as low as 50 right now and in addition let's not forget because for some reason i can't filter this with diantha love song flower made in liliana which is the secret rare version of diantha just with an alternate art Currently, that one is $110 minimum with a market price of $191.49. It's been bought a few times here and there, but mostly around the $110 and one, or sorry, the $120 that sold was back in November, so that was a while ago. Available listings are mostly under $120, and then we do have a number of copies that start getting into the $160s before creeping back over $200. But given that Diantha is on its way down in price and the triple drive booster pack version coming, we'll see. This mostly depends on just how much Diantha actually gets played as opposed to any reprints. Remember Cooling Heart Yuika? Well, let's not forget, it is getting reprinted as part of Lyrical Set 4. So current prices right now, we've got the original triple rare from Set 3, the Festival 2023 one at and then we've also got the FFR, which there is a copy of the FFR for $450 right now. And the other copies are currently around $35 if you want to pick those up. So it will depend on 
how well printed Yuika is going to be in set four, we'll just have to see. If it is short printed, I can't anticipate Yuika going too far down on its other copies. Here's an interesting one to think about. Blessing Diva Grizzale. This is one of the over triggers that you get for Lyrical Monasterio, and it initially came out of Lyrical Set 1. But notice how it has both an SP and an FR, and the FR is the one that currently has the higher base listing and market price. Which is... I'm pretty amazed by that. It's 675 and then 617 for the market price. And right now there's a $4 listing on the SP and it's 512 for the market price on that. So it's really a matter of wanting the frame versus the textured full art. And I mean, yeah, it's just weird to me to see that the FR is actually above the SP's value right now. Maybe I should go start taking a look at some of the other over triggers that got those reprints. Now let's move on to a few Wellstra support cards, like Assault Flight Carrier Lubitzel. This one was the card that brought Wellstra back when it first came when it first came out and gave it some competitive capability back during the Chronojet format. But Lubizol is currently pretty cheap to pick up. It's got 41 listings on its rare at 2 cents to start off with. And the FR is currently two dollars on the base and market price is also aligned to that. It has 14 listings overall, so that's pretty good for an FR's quantity. Just be careful though, this is one of the better products to play, so it does depend on what other kinds of new support Welster is getting. There are a few new items that haven't been revealed yet, but I'd pay attention to Lubizol as there's a good chance that will that there's a good chance people will want to pick it up. Then you've also got Blitz Assistant Sortian, which just came in set 13. This one I have mixed feelings about given that Bobo Mine exists and basically does the same thing for better value. Because ultimately what this does is that you need to play a grade 2 or greater product and then you can put it to Soul to Counter Charge, but then Bobo Mine is just you boost with it and then put it to Soul to Counter Charge during the battle phase. So this has the advantage of being usable in the main phase if you need to get Counterblast back for the main phase, but Bobo Mine is all around more versatile in my opinion. In any case, this card is still cheap to pick up. It's got it's 14 cents for the double rare, market price is 22 cents, and the FR is under a dollar for its base listing, but it's at a dollar for its market price right now. Our last card for today is one of the grade-based teal triggers from set from set 9, Direful Doll Charmaine, or Charmaine, Main. I'm not saying that right, I'm sorry. But we, I haven't gone over these heal triggers in a while, given that they have not really been seeing a lot of movement. Ultimately, the whole purpose of them is if you go second, then you have a lot more value out of it, because this thing will always be a 20k shield as you're riding up as long as your opponent exceeds you in grade. And if you're playing against a stride deck, it will honestly work a lot more in those situations. Given that we've got Shiranui coming up as a potential dominant player for when February comes out, we might see a bit of a resurgence on these heal triggers, but given that the Chronojet format and Messiah formats didn't really do anything for it, I don't have too much faith in that. In any case, the FR is on a downtrend, which it's ha it had a market price in the $2 range before, and now its market price is $119. Recent listings sold for $0.50 cents to $0.72, cents, and there are a fair amount of copies under a dollar before it actually gets back up there. So definitely pay attention to it as we get into the new stride sets, but I wouldn't anticipate there to be too much of a gain even on these. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys.